Today in Better Picks, we're going to be using a projector lighting and just a camera because photography is drawing with light. So this week I decided to work with projector lighting, something I've been inspired with for a while and experimented with with lower quality projectors. I upgraded the projector to a laser light, very intense bright, uh, which allowed me to use a faster shutter speed than I was able or to keep my ISO at a more manageable rate. Choosing different backgrounds that I download and giving it a different shape, a different light, a different form, and sometimes using the image itself to wrap around the eye or the body in a certain way that gives us the image. One of the things with projector lighting you have to be careful of is your projector will not give you the intensity if you're using a strobe light. So you'll have to go to a slower shutter speed, raise your ISO a bit. I like to shoot in the low 100, 200 range for studio, but here I had to raise up to 2000 ISO. And I did use a little bit of noise reduction in post uh, in Adobe Camera Raw to take down some of the noise, which did soften the image, but I thought it was a good compromise. I used a slower shutter speed, a 60th a second. Uh, making sure I used an image stabilizer in my lens allowed me to make sure that the uh, subject was not blurry from my camera shake. So projector lighting is all about shape and form and experimentation and, and, and trying something different. But the creativity aspect of pushing yourself to do something you've never tried before is something that you really should experiment with. It'll make you a better photographer. It'll make your work stronger in the future.